Obi Wal. Born 27th February 1932. He was a minority rights activist, a politician, a distinguished senator, a literary scholar, and an orator from Nigeria. Among his achievements, he fought for the cause of the Igbo Ikwere people and argued that African literature should be written in African languages. His early life, Obi Wale was born in Rumibo town, headquarters of Apara Kingdom in Obia Boluka government area of River State. His parents were late chief Frank Otobo and late Mrs. Jane Wan Otobo, daughter of the famous late chief Ezebungo Amadi Nwonduba, the then paramount ruler of Orowarokwa Rebisi in Port Harcourt local government area of River State. He had a younger sibling, late Mrs. Patience Wako Okabie Wago. He was educated at the African People's Institute Calabar, followed by St. Augustine Secondary School Nkwere in Imo State. For his higher education, he attended the University College Baden, where he specialized in literature. He then continued his studies in the United States of America, where he obtained a doctorate degree in literature. His career, Wale was one of the founding fathers of River States in Nigeria and served as the first commissioner for education in the state, as well as a member of the first executive council of the state. He was later elected as a member of the 1978 Constituent Assembly and also as a member of the Constitution Drafting Committee that drafted the 1979 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He was elected as a Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in the Second Republic in the 1980. He was elected the minority leader of the House of Senate, Federal Republic of Nigeria. As a politician, he perhaps most remembered for championing the cause of the Igbo Ikwere people in Nigeria. Senator Wali was one of the best known leaders from the Niger Delta region to consistently campaign against the marginalization of the Niger Delta people, particularly the Ikwere people. He fought for the creation of Port Harcourt out of the then river state of Nigeria, creating Port Harcourt state for the Ukwere people was an important achievement in his advocacy for the end of the marginalization and operation of the Ukwere people by the then Ajo people and the state's inspired exploitation of their resources. Wali campaigned for the correction of the imbalance in the socio-economic and political power of the Nigerian state throughout his political career. He also is remembered for his call for a critical examination of Nigeria's commitment to the economic and commitment to the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS. In addition to his political roles, Wale was a professor at the University of Nigeria in Soka, where he taught courses including introduction to African literature. Beyond his educational and political contributions in Nigeria, Wale is also contributed to literary and scholarship. Wally is known for his assertion that African literature should be only written in African languages. He emphasized the importance that works deemed African be written in the languages of the African peasantry and working classes rather than English or other foreign languages. Through an alliance of these classes within the many nationalities of Africa, he predicted an inevitable revolutionary break with neocolonialism. He expressed these views in his controversial essay, The Dead End of African Literature, which is considered a landmark in the field of African literary modernity. 
in the essay. Wiley writes, an African writer who thinks and feels in his own language must write in that language. Wiley presented this paper in 1962 at Makerere University in Uganda at the first major conference on new African writing at the institution. The well-known paper went on to, the, to be published in the 10th issue of Transition magazine. Although opposed by some, Wally's essay has been lauded by many African literary giants such as Ngugi Wa Thiongo, who changed his name to a traditional African name after reading Wally's arguments, who argued that African literature can also be written in foreign languages.